praise. That was delivered up to Yahweh this night. This time, let's all remain standing, so I'm going to have a word of prayer. Oh, Heavenly Father Yahweh, we come today in the name of your son, Yahshua the Messiah. Lord, just thanking you for this day that wasn't promised to us. Thank you for waking us up with our, in the right mind this morning uh, to come out and hear words commanded of you this night, Father. Lord Yahweh, as we come together, we know those are still pressing their way to be with us tonight in service. We ask you to be with them, Father. Those that are will be absent tonight, Father Yahweh, whether jobs or whatever their condition, Father, we ask you to be with them as well. Lord, we only ask you to continue to speak to us as you always do, Father. Give us those words of eternal life that keep us going on day after day. We ask all these things in the name of your son, Yahshu Messiah. We ask and pray. Amen. Just want to read out of quickly out of Psalms 113. It says, Praise ye Yahweh. Praise, O, ser o servants of Yahweh. Praise the name of Yahweh. Blessed be the name of Yahweh from this time forth and forevermore. Hallelujah. You can all be seated. We're truly thanking Yahweh this day. Another day to uh, come and hear words commanded of him. Another time and opportunity to see where we stand with Yahweh. Hallelujah. Of course, you know, I'm thankful to be here tonight. I know that something as simple as even driving here to service. Even that's not even promised because many set out on their way on a, on a destination and some never reach that destination. Yeah, right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But we know we come and we set this time aside to come hear Yahweh speak words to us. We know that he doesn't speak and we know that man, yes, you're going to have a man in the flesh that gets up here and stands before you and speaks. But we know it is Yahweh's voice that's going to be speaking to us tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, first of all, we say greetings to those, of course, that watch us over Facebook and those in Lubbock that may go back after the service. And, of course, the saints in Mexico. And the saints, it's a good night to be here. It's a good night to hear Yahweh's words. But we ask you to get your Bibles out, get ready to follow along at the word of God, at the, as the word of God is going forth. Hallelujah. But this time, let's see what the man of God would have to bring forth this time. Saints, let's all stand and rise. Let's receive our beloved Apostle Hurley by saying, Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh, saints. Praise Yahweh. Amen. Hallelujah. Yahweh is truly good. Amen. You can all be seated. As we often say, in the presence of Yahweh. Amen. You know, I mean, this place is special. Yahweh's house. Where, where Yahweh has, uh, you know, established a place where we can come together and gather and hear Yahweh's words yes, and the words of his son, Yeshua Messiah. Hallelujah. You know, there's, there's something special about this place. <clears throat> of course, because we've received the Holy Spirit, you know, the presence of Yahweh should be within us wherever we go. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. But still, this is a good place right here. It's a place where you can come. If you've been seeking Yahweh's face and you've been praying and Hallelujah. you've been asking for guidance, you know, that old devil we have as an adversary, he's always got something to say to us. You know, he's always got some kind of negativity. Always some, hey, why don't you give up doing right in this area? Why don't you slow down in that area? Amen. Or... This will never be right for you in this area. You know, that'll never be right. And, you know, he, he may not even tell you give up, but that's what he wants you to do. He's, hop he's hoping that you can. He's hoping that you will be tricked by him. That every little subtle negative thought. He's hoping that you'll just take it. At, you know, you could say face value. Yes, sir. Or you could just say like, Satan's just hoping that you'll just believe uh -huh. everything he has to say to you. That's right. Amen. And, and he's so subtle. Just like in the Garden of Eden. He's a crafty one. Yes, Lord. Praise Yahweh. Praise. And then later on, 
He's hoping that all the little lies he tells you, all the little negativity, the lies about your brother, lies about your sister, yes, sir. lies about the church, lies about him, mm -hmm. Amen. lies about your leaders. Yes. He's hoping that it will slowly accrue on you. Yes, sir. You know, it'll gather and get heavier and heavier. Right. He's hoping that little lie after little lie... And if you keep buying into the lies, right. he knows that you'll fail. Yes, sir. Yes. Oh, yeah. And so he doesn't care. You know, he's very mm. slow and steady. He, he, yeah. He's in no rush. Right, no. If he can deceive you slow, he'll he'll settle for that. Yes, sir. Amen. Yeah. Amen. That's why we got to keep on coming out to Yahweh's house. Yes, sir. Yeah. Keep on having faith. That's right. yeah. Yeah. Keep on trusting in this process. Yes. Yeah. That we call salvation. Right. Amen. Amen. Keep on trusting in the church. Oh, yeah. Trusting in the leaders that you have. Yes, We're growing in grace just like you. Right. So you need to trust that Yahweh is working on us. And working on you. Yes. Taking us in the direction that we need to go. And that we don't need to lose heart. We don't need to lose hope. We don't need to lose faith. Yes, because it's brought us this far and it's going to take us all the way to, you know, absolute victory, absolute victory. We got loved ones that we know. We know there's nothing good out in the world. The backsliders, when they've left, they haven't gone to go do anything good. I've never seen that. No. Amen. They have forsaken the only good influence That's right. in their lives. Yes. Yes. Amen. And many of them are even suicidal nowadays yes. because there's nothing feeding them. Right. Nothing. Amen. 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 Um, <clears throat> but I would like to turn to first Chronicles chapter 20 Amen. because we have something feeding us here. Yes. Yes. We have Yahweh feeding us just like, you know, sheep. Yes. He's shepherding us. He's taking us right where we need to go to those green pastures. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, now, Lord. when you hear green pastures, that may not make you hungry, but, you know, it makes the sheep really hungry. Yes. Because that's what the sheep is going to go to some pastures and eat the grass. You know, we're not thinking about nourishment and food when we think about grass. <laughs> but, you know, spiritual grass for us is when Yahweh takes us to the place that we need to be in right. to grow yes. and get, stay strong. Amen. You know, it may not seem like the pasture is the kind of pasture that we need to be in, right. but it is. Yes, Amen. 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 You are exactly where you need to be. That's right. Yahweh has appointed you to be in any condition that you're in. Yes. Yahweh put you in that condition. Yes, right. Whether you feel like it's unfair. Right. Amen. Whether yeah. you feel like you're being abused. Uh -huh. It's still exactly where Yahweh wants you to be. Yes, sir. Because he's shaping you. Amen. And molding you. Oh, yes. Amen. And all he wants out of my mouth and yours is blessed be the name of Yahweh. That's right. That's right. Amen. Just like Job said, Yahweh gave. And Yahweh has taken away. That's but right. blessed be his name. Yes. In every single one of our situations. Yes. If we can just have this in our mouth. Yahweh is up to something good right. in my life. Amen. But the only way we're going to keep that mind. Is if we stay prayerful. Right. Yes. Right. Amen. Prayer is powerful. Amen. And you know what? Our flesh and our fleshly minds. Fight yes. praying. Yes. We fight it. Yes. It's crazy because right. after you do it, yep. you feel tons better. Yes. That's right. That's right. You feel a huge load yes. has come off of you simply because you talked it out with your God. Right. Yes. Amen. Amen. And if you're praying as a group, you even feel good that you prayed an encouraging prayer. That your brother and sister could hear. Yes. You know, not, not that we're doing things to be seen or heard, not like that. Right. Uh -huh. But we should be doing things to be 
our brothers and sisters keeper. You know, they, they say there's a difference between words and actions. But in a sense, words are actions. We can't be so lazy and held back. Amen. That we won't put forth the the action of speech. That's right. right. That's right. And that in that respect, your words are deeds. Yeah. Amen. 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 But let's see what First Chronicles twenty has to say. I, Yahweh showed me the scripture the day after we had our prayer together. Amen. 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 Yes, sir. And like Apostle Washington said, sometimes we bishops are all over the place. Yes, sir. Yes. But uh, Yahweh showed me the scripture. Amen. The last time I preached, I was a little all over the place. Yes, sir. I picked a chapter, and what I was talking about had something to do with that chapter. Yes, sir. Right. But if I would have just gone with what the Spirit had showed me, I probably would have come here. Amen. And then after service, I told Evangelist Davis, I said, your message went really well. I was all over the place. Yes, sir. And then I went and talked to Apostle Washington, because I don't like trying to hide everything. Amen. Right. Amen. I strive to be the kind of person where I'm not hiding. Amen. Yes, sir. I'm being up front because I feel like if I do that, I'll become better faster. That's right. Amen. I'll come on up and be what Yahweh has calling for me to be if I don't try to hide right. who I am. Yes, sir. Although I'm, I'm not all that right. by any stretch. Yes, sir. I've got things I want to hide. Yeah. I've got things that I have hidden because you may be transparent in many areas but sometimes we're not as honest as we should be about those things we shouldn't be doing things we shouldn't be saying yes sir we hide that amen Amen. and that's what i'm afraid of so that's what pushes me like be honest yes right be honest about who you really are about what you're really going through yes sir And, and and quit trying to hide Kill that double lie. Yes, Kill that double mind. Yes, yes. Kill it. Amen. 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 Yes. And then, you know, bring bring to the light. You know, I'm not trying to say that you need to spread all of the evil things that the devil's tried to tell you. Maybe your flesh may be desiring some evil things. It, it, the Bible says don't even, you know, don't even let, you know, those things be spoken. You know, <laughs> it's a shame for those things to be even brought up. I mean, there are some things that we just don't want to share with our brother and sister. We'll burden them. Amen. Amen. But at the exact same time, if we start being a little bit more honest, we'd actually encourage our brother and our sister. Right? Yes, sir. It comes out in prayer, though. If we we don't if we don't uh, if we're always hiding and guarding and pretending. Amen. Amen. And that's how the devil likes us. He wants us to be that way. But if we start being open and talking to Yahweh about what we're really going through and being honest and being truthful, some things that we might want to pray to ourselves. Amen. I'm going through this, Lord. I'm going through this. I don't even want to talk about it out loud, but this is what I'm thinking. This is how I'm feeling, Yahweh. Amen. And I don't even want to burden anybody with this. So I'm taking it straight to you. This is what I'm going through. I've given it to you, and I'm asking you to work it all out for me. But then there's some other things that you know is very encouraging for your brother and your sister to hear. And you should pray those out loud. Amen? Amen. It's important that we start being uh, an encouragement to one another. Yes, Lord. Amen? Amen. If you you get up every day and you spend your time being an encouragement, I'm going to get up today and I'm going to serve my brothers and my sisters. I'm going to speak some life. I'm going to speak some encouragement. Amen. Amen? It starts with prayer. It starts with fasting. It starts with concentrating. So what does it say? First Chronicles 20 and 1, it is written. Yes. And it came to pass. And it came to pass. That after the year was expired. After the year was expired. At the time that kings go out to battle. Yes. Joab led forth the power of the army and wasted the country of the children of Ammon. Let me see. I might be in the wrong chapter. Let me see. I think it might be Second Chronicles. Let's see. Hallelujah. 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 My apologies. It's all right, sir. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes, this is it. Thank you, sir. Second Chronicles twenty and one. 
Amen. It is written. Yes. It came to pass. It came to pass. After this also, mm -hmm. that the children of Moab uh -huh. and the children of Ammon. Yes. And with them other beside the Ammonites. Yes. Came against Jehoshaphat to battle. See, Yahweh is going to let you have some adversity Man. in your life. Yes, sir. He's going to let things come against you yeah. in battle. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Expect to fight. Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah. When you've got your mind made up that you're going to serve Yahweh, expect mm. the devil to come and fight with you. Yes, Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everybody in here has got a battle on their hands. Right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We all have our personal battles. And then we got our battles as a collective. Yes. That's right. Satan is fighting hard against Mexico. Yes. yes. Satan, Satan is fighting hard against Lubbock yes. right now. Right. Satan is fighting hard here. That's right. yeah. Amen. Every day you wake up and he's like, I'm not tired. What are we doing today? Right. Like I'm peeking in the brain. Same thing we do every day. We're going to try to take over the saints. Yeah. That's yeah. what the devil's job is. Right. And he's not tired. No, he's not. He does every evil that Satan will allow him yeah. to do that day oh, yes. to his people. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 And we'd be crazy to think he's not going to do that. That's right. <laughs> it's given to him to make war with the saints. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And Yahweh's not going to stop that because Yahweh knows that's the shaping ground. Yes. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. If you faint in the day of adversity, your strength is what? Small. Small. Right. Read it. Then there came some that told Jehoshaphat, saying, uh -huh. There cometh the a great multitude against thee from beyond the sea on this side, yes. Syria. Yes. And behold, they be in Hazazan Tamar, mm -hmm. which is in Gedi. Yes. And Jehoshaphat feared. He feared. And set himself to seek Yahweh. Okay, so, <laughs> look, I don't care how tough you are. Right. There's some things in your life yes. that's going to shake you a little bit. Yes. Right. It's going to make you feel like you're going to fall off your foundation. Yes, Lord. I don't care who you are. Yes. There's going to be some things that happen to you. Right. And you're not going to want to fear. Right. But you're going to fear. Yes. Yes. We're talking about people that want to kill Jehoshaphat that's right. yes. and his people. Yes. That's right. They're ready to come and murder the men, women, and children. Yes. And... Take them even as slaves. Yes. Amen. That's right. The devil, he wants to destroy everything about it. He wants to mess up our marriages. Yes. He wants to mess up our children. Yes. He wants to mess up our, uh, our jobs. Uh -huh. You know, get us fired. Right. Yes. He wants to mess up our good name yes. of being righteous. Yes. Because if he can mess that up, he wants to mess up us being a loving people. Yes, sir. Yes. Amen. Right. Kind, caring, considerate. Yeah. He wants to mess all that up. If we're too wrapped up in what we got to go through right. and he steals our light from us, he knows we're of no good to the rest of this world. Right. Amen. Amen. Yeah. He's made, he's made make war with us. That's right. And if you if he if he like you got all these family members, mm -hmm. you ha you heard the truth and somehow, some way. Your heart was pricked. Right. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And and some kind of how you decided to become part of this. Right. Amen. Yes, Lord. I'm going to tell you every single time. I don't get it. I don't get it. How we're how we're doing this. Right. I don't fully understand it. No. I understand we got free will. Yeah. But I mean, it's, it's like it boggles my mind yeah. how we're here. Yes. Amen. 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 And how this thing is so different from our lives. Before yes. this, yes. and yet we decided to give everything up. Oh, yes. Right. Yes, Lord. And you know why he chose us, and you know why other people won't do this. Right. Amen. Amen. I I'm not going to claim to fully understand this thing. Right. Amen. Amen. But I got all my family members. My mom, some people are super close to their families. I'm not super close to all my cousins and right. Right. stuff like that, but some people are so close. Yes. You know, people like, you know, like uh, people who talk about their families all the time, oh, yeah. like Sylvia Gutierrez. Yeah. Yes, sir. And, you know, uh, yeah, 
Like whenever mother and also Mother Sylvia uh, Licona, yeah. when she, when we went to Lubbock, she's like this cousin, that cousin, you know, you know, when we we uh, some people come to the church and they're like, my family, my family, my family, my family. Right. I'm like, I, I get it. I want my family safe, too, but we're just not that close. Right. <laughs> you know, like some people have a strong influence on their relatives. Right, right. Just you just come. You're just coming. <laughs> If I tried to tell my family, you're just coming, they would tell me where to go and how to get there. We're not that close. Amen. Amen. But you got all these people out there that you want saved because you love them. And some people weep, praying, crying, weeping. You want these people saved. My my wife loves her brothers. Amen. I love my brother, too. I really do. I'm not past emotion. Right. (laughs) <laughs> I just I, I'm a little guarded right. I, I have feelings they're real yes. <laughs> they're real I just don't I don't often often I if I don't show a lot of emotion I don't feel safe with you Amen. <laughs> and it takes a lot of work for me to feel safe with you yes sir <laughs> and being in church Yahweh has helped to yes. heal my heart yeah. yes. amen, amen. And I'm thankful for all the healing yes. that he's doing to my yeah. heart. Oh, yes, sir. Right. Because I want to open up to where I can love you, basically. Amen. You know, I want to I wanna be open. Yes, sir. Because I know it will help, help my ability to connect with you. And, you know, but first, we got to connect with Yahweh. Amen. Right? Yes, you sir. want your family saved. You better got to get yourself all the way right so we can let our light shine so the love can be real here. Yes, so we should start drawing near because we do are afraid of things. We do have fears. Yes, sir. We do have loves. We do have cares. We do have concerns. There's a, this battle is not just, it's not, look, it's not just me and the devil. It's not just Evangelist Davis and the devil. We all got the same enemy. Oh, yeah. Coming to kill us. Coming to steal, kill, and destroy it's time to start rallying in prayer. Amen. Praise Yahweh. That prayer was good. That did something for my soul. We shouldn't wait a long time before we do that again. Look at the condition of the church. Should we wait? Sometimes you got to kick it into high gear. Yes, sir. More foot washings. More communion. Amen. More group prayers. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord. Honest, honest truth is that, um, you know, that word sedated. Yes. Sounds funny when I say it. <laughs> I say sedated. I mean, you act like somebody gave you some dope. Yes. <laughs> yes. And you're not as excited about serving Yahweh as you should be. Right. And uh, even I sometimes am not. I don't appreciate Yahweh as much as I yeah. should. Amen. Sometimes I'll do all this talk about how we should really be so happy to be serving Yahweh. And sometimes what I go through, I feel heavy sometimes. And I got to I got to shake it off. I got to practice what I preach. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. But but we we need to draw close to him in prayer because we got a serious fight on our hands. What else does it say? And Jehoshaphat feared mm-hmm. and set himself to seek Yahweh. See, you got to fear. It says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. It's the beginning of knowledge. It's, mm-hmm. it's the beginning of you starting to do something. Yes, sir. I mean, oftentimes you say, well, I love the Lord so much. I'll do what's right to do. That's great. Mm-hmm. But sometimes what Yahweh lets come against us yes. is a big motivating factor for yes. us to start working on ourselves. Yes, yes Lord. If you haven't been given 200% and it looks like you might lose your job, that fear will help you kick in to start doing better on your job. At least it should. And and every other fear, every other concern. Mm -hmm. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. What does it say? And proclaimed a fast throughout all Judah. He proclaimed a fast. First he feared. He set himself to seek Yahweh. And proclaimed a fast yes. throughout all Judah. Yes, See, sir. I got my mind made up. I'm, I'm getting back on my fasting. Amen. Because nobody always fasts. Right. No, no. 
Sometimes we do really good. We start fasting and, and like we're not just not eating. Like we're talking to Yahweh right. yeah. Yeah. about what we're going through. We do really good. Yahweh does hear our prayers. He blesses us. And then, you know, we we stop. And I'm not talking about because you're a sinner. You stopped. I'm just saying you, you eat. And you get up every day and you eat. Yeah. And it's hard, like your flesh doesn't want to go back right, right. to the fasting. Right, right. But you can look around and open up your eyes and see what's going on in your family. Yes, sir. Yes. You can see, and it's, you, know, you, you know what struggle is going on inside of you. Yes, yes. Amen. Amen. That's right. You start to feel that little bit of a negative outlook. Yes. And you, you wake up every day and you start to... Start to see things more negatively every day. Right. right. <laughs> We've all felt that over and over again. It, yes. It's a cycle. Mm-hmm. After you concentrate yourself, yes. you get strong. Right. Man. Sometimes the fast can bring out the worst in you because you're going without. Mm-hmm. And then when it brings out the worst in you, you see what's going on inside yeah. of you. Yeah. And then you, you realize how much you need Yahweh. Right. And then the change happens. Yes. Man. Where you make up your mind, you get some resolve yes. to become a better person. Because right. I don't know about you, but whenever I concentrate myself, yes. Yahweh shows me things about myself. Oh, yes. yeah. Amen. That I'm not all that. That's right. Shows me what to do to become better. Amen. Amen. It's not always fluffy white clouds and rainbows when you're fasting. No. 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 Yahweh showed me I'm extremely holy. <laughs> I'm not telling you you're supposed to fail while you're concentrating right, yourself. Right. I'm just telling you that whenever you go on a fast and go on a concentration, that helps you slow down yeah. and see yourself for what you really are yes, instead of this dream image of yeah, yourself true. that you see of yourself. It's true. Yes, if you drink too much, right? right? Mm-hmm. If you're depending on pills all the time for all, every ache and pain right. and don't even pray mm-hmm. about your problems... And all of that, you know, right. if, if, if your go-to thing is worrying about everything all the time, yes, sir. I'll be honest with you. I find myself sometimes that it's just, I feel worry Amen. about Amen. stuff. Yes, sir. Amen. I feel it. Yes. Amen. 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 I think Yahweh will allow you to go through things that your brother and sister is going through so that you can learn how to have some empathy right, right. and some compassion. Yeah. Right. Like, you know, you, you may have a brother and sister in here that is going through sickness. Yes. Amen. Not because they're wicked, right. but they have to fight feeling like they're going through what they're going through because they're wicked. Right. And you're thinking, I don't get sick as much as them. And then you get on the high, you feel like the devil tries to put you on a high horse, like where you feel like you're more holier than other people. And then what happens? Yahweh lets you get sick. Uh Mm -hmm. And then you're like, oh, this is what being sick. I forgot what feeling sick is like. Uh Oh, now I have sympathy. Now I have empathy. Now I now I care. I was beginning to lose my care. Right. Amen. Amen. <laughs> All these brothers that have wrecked for spirit driven. <laughs> and I haven't been in a wreck in years. Uh-huh. Right. I wrecked Prophet Washington's van. <laughs> I just did. <laughs> Whenever I was helping Brother Lewis. Yes. On Sunday after church. Yes, sir. I was feeling better than all you brothers. <laughs> Feels good not to be in a wreck. God, y'all need to pay attention. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get to Brother Lewis's new apartment. It got dark. I, I, I would love to say, well, I never really wanted the van. It's because of Shanera I had the van. The devil give you all kinds of things to not see what Yahweh allowed you to go through. Instead, it's blame, blame, blame. It's not my fault. I'm a victim. Why, why this? Why you mad? Why you that? Why, why, why? But what is Yahweh trying to teach you and you and I when we go through what we got to go through? Yes, sir. Yeah. I was a victim of circumstance. 
I'm waiting for my glasses to come in. I can't see that great far off. I've been telling you. I can't see that great up close. I can only see pretty good in the middle. It got dark on me. Those, those, those van windows, you, they're not as good as regular vehicle mirrors. You just can't see it. If I was in my truck, I would have not got in that accident. I, I believe that because you got windows all surrounding your vehicle. It's more of a challenge driving those vans. And now I have a respect for you guys. Yes, sir. I have a lot more respect for you brothers. Amen. I'm, I'm getting over because I realized that they were going straight. So I'm trying to get over. I look. I don't see anybody. I forced that 2020 red Mustang out of its lane. Trying not to get hit by me. Completely my fault. It's not bad to get in a wreck when it's their fault. But get in a wreck and it's your fault? You got to say, this is all my fault. And believe me, you want to lie. Because that's thousands of dollars that you're going to have to pay that you don't want to pay. That's no Red Lobster. That's no... No more, no more uh, Chinese buffet, you know. Right. Yeah. I mean, the money got to come from somewhere. Right, right. Amen. Right? right? Amen. It's a, it's a tough situation. Yes, sir. Amen. And uh, here I am. <clears throat> Have to pull over and be honest and yes. this and that. And then you're dealing with the, the you know, the, the person and the insurance and the... And, and then I had to call Prophet Washington. You think I want to make that call? No, no, no. No. He was a little frustrated. Yes. I can totally understand why. Right, right. It happened to him for a reason, too, just like it happened to me. Yes, sir. We're all learning something through what we go through. Yeah, that's right. Amen? Amen. Amen. We're all learning something. Yes, Lord. And I guarantee you, if we get all angry and upset while we're going through what we're going through, we're not getting the victory. Amen. We can try to justify our anger and frustration and our lies and our, uh, um, uh, you know, blaming everybody on everything that we like to do every time we go through something. Right. But we're not justified. Amen. Right? Yes, sir. Amen. There's only a very rare time in a season where we're justified to like get angry like Yeshua he looked on them in an anger like how long shall I be with you a prophet Washington is justified to get a little angry yes, yes. Sir. a little frustrated yes. amen and he calmed himself down amen. <laughs> he did amen and and I was just asking Yahweh what are you trying to teach me right what are you trying to teach me yes sir amen. empathy yes. yeah amen. yeah yes it's quick for me to look at you brothers that got in accidents and say, oh, yeah, y'all messed up. Y'all need to work on y'all selves. Here I am in the same shoes. Now I want everybody to understand. Right, right. I'm a good guy. Yeah. It was an accident. Yeah. I didn't mean any harm. Yeah. I was trying. Yeah. yeah, now I know what they're going through. Believe me, I'm going to be a whole lot easier on anybody who has an accident. Yeah. Just like every time I get sick, I suddenly have empathy for people who are sick. Right. Yes. Amen. Amen. But we got to pray. Yes, sir. We, we got we to gotta pray together. Yes, sir. We got to fellowship together. Yes, sir. We got to rally up our troops together against yes. this same devil that we all have to fight. Amen. Or, or, or else, guess what's going to happen? We're going to consume one another. Yes. That's what's going to happen. That's Read right. on. What does it say? Second Chronicles 20 and 4. Yes. And Judah gathered themselves together. Yes. To ask help of Yahweh. That's what we got to do. Yeah. It's so easy for us to get angry and upset with people because of their weak. But Apostle Washington told us a long time ago, if the people are weak, it's because the leaders are weak. Right. He says every time y'all do something wrong. He examines himself. Yes, sir. And to a certain degree, he blames himself. Yes. Yes. Not necessarily that he is sinning. Right. But maybe he just needs to do more to help us. Yes, sir. Right? Hallelujah. 
What can I do more? How can I be better? How can I be a better brother to brother Chris? Amen. Amen. It's real simple. It's the things that we don't want to do is what's going to make us stronger. Yeah. Praying. Yes. Visiting one another. Yes, sir. Sharing a meal together. Yes, Lord. Amen. Even though I know I made you mad. <laughs> when I told you you play your game too much. <laughs> Pastor Dewar's a narc. He tells on, on you. <laughs> Every, every time you get angry, he tells. All you can do is love him. I didn't tell you you can only play your game five minutes a day. I say you need to knock it down to 5% of your day. Right, right. I used to have that problem too. Yes, sir. I used to play. My video game, you can ask Risa. It was the kid's game. But I got Halo. Uh, which would, what? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we, we have four. At one point in time, we had five Xbox 360s. And I could chain, I chained all four of them up. And had them on four different screens, right. all facing away from each other, so yes. you can't see my screen. And we would battle it out. Yes. And it was fun. I'm not going to lie to you. It was a lot of fun. It was a good fellowship. Yes. Right? But there were some times where I played too much. Yes, sir. Amen? Amen. Yeah, I'll be honest with you. Most of the time, I was with my kids. Right. Mm-hmm. I'm not trying to tell you I was like, you know, I, but Yahweh, see, my love for Yahweh is true. Yes, sir. Amen. I'm in the Bible more than I was ever in the game. I was in the Bible. Right. Yes, sir. But there was times where I was like, you really are clocking way too much time in this game. Yes, sir. Amen. You know, you're going to die spiritually. Mm. Right. Like I, I, I was, you know, that little bullseye, the red one where you're aiming and shooting yes. on those yes. first person shooter games. I could see that red bullseye when I wasn't playing the game. Amen. Now, you know you're playing the game yeah. too much. Oh, yeah. I used to play that game Force Unleashed, where you were a Jedi. Yeah. And what you do is the character would put their hand out like this, and the force bars would go on objects in the game. I would come to church trying to pray, and all I could see was force bars going on things <laughs> in my imagination. I would get up and look out at the chair and see a force bar on the chair. I was playing the game too much. And 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 I would only been lying to myself to say that I wasn't. Yes, sir. But some of you are lying to yourselves about many things in your life. Because you're addicted to it. Yes, sir. You will lie you're just lying to yourself day in, day out. Whatever the Spirit has said to you about you, and you're still saying, that's not me, you're lying to yourself. Amen. The Word had to go forth a bunch of times about people who play the game too much. I had to stop applying it to evangelist Robert Childers and start applying it to me. Right. Amen. And that's what made me slow down. And I got myself more back into the Word and to the point to where I I don't even play the game anymore. Yes, sir. What's it like you're 46 years old playing games? Whether it's games on your phone. Look at this game. This is very juvenile. Yes, sir. It's very childish. Amen. I want to whip out the Bible and say, look at this game. If you play it right, you'll be saved. If you meditate on this, you'll be saved. Amen. It's important. It is. No, we're only going to get there by being like this. Yes, Lord. We better start asking help from Yahweh. Yes. Hallelujah. What, what does it say? And Judah gathered themselves together yeah. to ask help of Yahweh. Judah is the church. Mm-hmm. Yes. We need to start gathering ourselves together. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. We need to start having Bible studies. Yes, Amen. sir. We got evangelists here. Yes, sir. Pastors. Yes. We, we need to start sharpening our skills. Amen. 
not to stop the mouths of gainsayers to be these, you know, brutal right. debaters like we used to do, but just to strengthen the brothers and the sisters in the church. How are we going to keep you in the word if we don't have Bible studies? It's true. It's true. We should be having Bible studies. Yes, sir. I've thrown it out there a ton of times. Yes, sir. Now I can do it. I mean, I am an apostle. Amen. Me and Apostle Stanford, we can start it. Amen? Amen. But the other brothers, the other bishops are going to have to join in. Yes, sir. You're going to be part of it. Yes, sir. Amen? Amen. We need to do this kind of stuff. Amen. Why do you think people are weak? Amen. Amen. We're too lazy to put our time in. Yeah, it's true. Amen? Amen. Yes, Amen. We, we need to do what was done for us to get us as strong as we are. Yes, sir. Yes, apostle Washington... You know he was tired yeah. working at Mobilecom, Arch Communications, yes. long shifts, Amen. and still came out and we did broadcast after broadcast, and we got to listen. Yes, sir. And it, it fed us. It, it kept us in the Word. It yes. made us want to read. Amen. 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 That's right. Sister Shanero is a witness. They're in Mexico. Apostle Washington is, is, is taking out time for you. You ask questions about the Bible. And the Apostle Washington is saying, she's learning things that you bishops aren't even learning. Right, right. Because you're not drawn near. Yes, sir. Amen? Amen. Amen. Yeah, and she's with him. Amen. I know, but he's, he's taught us so much. Yes. We got so much to offer. Amen. It's right here. Yes, but Lord. when we leave church, we feel like church is over. Right, right. We are the church. We need Amen. to do more. Amen. Amen. Keep people more encouraged. It's not going to be... Um, Revelation, revelation, revelation is going to be Bible studies just about caring about loving one another. Right. And how to love. Yeah. What love really is. Yes, sir. We need that in our lives. Yeah. Amen. This prayer and asking Yahweh for help. It's 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 a it's something that you have to practice to do. Yes, sir. Or you will never do it. It will always be wake up, go to work. Yeah. Go home, watch TV Amen. till you're too tired to do anything else. Yes, sir. Amen. Go to sleep. Repeat. Yeah. Yeah. Tuesdays and Thursdays, go to church. And you know when, the, when, when your love really isn't in this right, thing. Right, right. Amen? Amen. And that one or two verses that you read that day is not going to help you no. to keep on doing this thing. That's right. Amen? Right. Amen. You got to talk to Yahweh about what you're going through yes. and ask him to direct you to the scriptures that you need Amen. to encourage you to become right. strong and stay strong Amen. in the areas that you're weak in. Yes, sir. If you're the kind of person who really, most of us are the kind of person that really just wants to do our own thing. We're not too concerned about everybody else. Right. You do you. I'll do me. Yes, sir. You don't want to go over to anybody's house to encourage them. You really don't care. You don't want to call them up and even say anything nice about them because right. you really don't care. Right? Amen. right? Yes. It's like, you love to cook, but you really don't want to make anybody anything. <laughs> if we're not careful, we're going to have that selfish yeah, that's life. True. That's true. That's true. That yes, unconcerned yes, about our brothers yes, and our sisters would. type of lifestyle. Yes, Amen. 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 But it starts with seeking Yahweh first. Yes, sir. Read. Even out of all the cities of Judah, uh -huh. they came to seek Yahweh. It's going to take effort to do all of this. Right. It takes effort. Yes, it Sister Shanera came up to our room last night and talked to us about some stuff. Mm -hmm. Right when I was ready to go to sleep. Yes, sir. It would have been very insensitive of me to say, Shoo, daughter-in-law, don't bother me. Right. Leave. Yes. She needed some counsel. Right. Amen. And I and and I believe me, there's times I don't want to be long winded and dragged out and tell a, talk do a whole bunch of talking and stuff like that. Right. But I have to rebuke all of that. Yes, and I have to make sure it's known. I love you. Yes. You are not a burden to me. You are a blessing to me. Yes. And the only way I can show that is by taking time out when she needs it. Amen. Yeah. Amen. That's right. Amen. 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 But it is it's starting with the things that we do when we all came together and cried out to Yahweh. That that should have been a refreshing. Yes, sir. But it can't just stay like that. Amen. Read on. 
And Jehoshaphat stood in the congregation of Judah uh -huh. at Jerusalem. Yes. In the house of Yahweh. Yes. Before the new court. Yes. And said, O Yahweh. O Yahweh. God of our fathers. God of our fathers. Art not thou God in heaven? Art you not God in heaven? And rulest not thou all over all the kingdoms of the heathen? Uh-huh. And in thine hand is there not power and might? Yes. So that none is able to withstand thee? Yeah. Art not thou our God, uh -huh. who didst drive out the inhabitants of this land Read. before thy people Israel, uh -huh. and gave us to thy seed of Abraham, thy friend forever? Listen to this, saints. Don't just let him read it, but you're not really paying attention. Listen to this. Yes, sir. This is the same God we serve. They have all, he had all kinds of enemies coming after him. Yes. We got all kinds of spirits yes. and enemies. Yes. And we got spirits in people yes. coming after us. We got all kinds of things that we're going through. Yes. And for the life of us, we want to be better people. Yes. But our own selves are fighting against the change. Yes. It's not anybody else. It's you yes. fighting against the change. That's right. In you. Amen. You get angry and offended because some people in here get blessed. Mm -hmm. right. Instead of like, uh, like when the Spirit speaks well, Sister Cody. Right. Uh, instead of saying, you know what, I can be like Sister Cody. Right. You know? Amen. Instead, yeah. You just want to get angry and have envy and jealousy and hatred right. over right. the people that are getting well spoken of in here. Amen. Instead of saying, you know what, they're doing something right. No, in your mouth. They're not all that. Amen. Well, Yahweh never said they were. No. Amen. That's the point. That's right. But they're doing enough to where Yahweh is. They're, they're listening to Yahweh's voice and they're growing in grace. Amen. Amen. They're showing progress. That's, right. That's what Yahweh wants out of us. Amen. Progress. Amen. You get tired of coming to church and getting rebuked. Getting corrected right. and giving, giving ammunition for the devil to play with you all the time. Right. All you got to do is slow down. Man. Because it, it, you feel like you're dying when right. you have to slow down and stop being you. You are dying. Yes. Y'all was trying to kill you. Yes. Amen. You're supposed to be buried. Right. He's trying to create in you a clean heart. He's trying to renew a right spirit in you. You got to die. So in order for you to die, you know, slow, dead things don't move. So you got to stop moving. Stop doing you. Slow down on your choices. Yeah. And, and all of you family members of somebody who's trying to make a change, quit provoking them. Amen. Let them go through the process of dying. Yes, sir. If you know things that you say and things that you do trigger them, get them angry and upset. Do everything that you can to try to help your brother and your sister become better. Amen. Stop, stop pointing fingers at them. Yes, sir. Right? Amen. Leave them alone. Yes, sir. Let them go slow. Because a concentration requires... That you've got to give yourself over to Yahweh and you've got to try real hard not to do the things that you would do. That's right. yeah. Yeah. It's not easy at first to change. Amen. Amen. Right? That's right? It takes a lot of effort to become a new person. Yes, it yeah. does. Amen? Amen. So if you realize that you're one of those people who's always going to the other person saying, I don't like what you are. I don't like who you are. Leave them alone and focus on yourself. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. Right? Amen. Amen. I, I used to do Risa. I used to run Risa ragged. Amen. Amen. I, would, I, I felt like because we were married, I had a license to tell her everything I didn't like. Right. And that's how it is with marriages. Yes, sir. I mean, you spent all your life being nice, kind, and considerate to people. Then you hitch up in marriage to somebody and you feel like you have a license to unload everything right. on the other person. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. Don't tell me that, that women are the only ones who do that. Men do that too. Oh, yeah. They yeah. feel like the, uh, they, can, they can get upset real fast right. and fly off the handle. Oh, yeah. oh, right? Yeah. Amen. Right. They feel like they can get angry and upset. Husbands and wives do that to each other. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because the devil tells them yeah. that's how you fix them. Right. Right. By not putting up with anything. Right. 
tell yeah but the bible says bear one another's burdens you know like (laughs) get your focus on yourself that way the devil won't show them your face all the time Amen. amen even us sometimes when we correct people in here they get so angry with us that all they see is our face when in all reality, that's when Yahweh tells us, back off. Right. Leave them alone. Yes. Amen. Because the truth of the matter is, they're not fighting you, they're fighting Yahweh. Amen. And they're fighting the ways of Yahweh. But right now, they're seeing you. Right. So that's why we don't always correct everybody about everything all the time. Right. Because all they'll see is us right. and our face Amen. and be angry and upset with us. And then Yahweh says, leave them alone because they haven't hearkened to your words. Their lives are going to fall apart. Amen. Amen. And if you leave them alone and stay with away from them, their eyes will come open and say, my ways are wrong. Amen. It's not that person because they're not rebuking me all the time, correcting me all the time, getting on to me all the time. Amen. They'll see Yahweh and what was said at church. And it's just you and Yahweh. And you have to confess, I was wrong. Your ways were right. Do y'all understand that? Yes, Lord. Oh, yes. And it's not just husbands and wives. If you feel like you're really close to somebody in here, you feel like you're free to argue with them all the time. Right. Family does each other that way. You got people in here wanting to backslide. Because you won't leave them alone. Amen. They feel like being in church means I got to deal with you. Getting on to me about everything all the time. Well, I guess my only way out of here is to backslide. And if we're not careful, we won't be sensitive to these kind of things. Amen. We need to learn how to give one another space so that they can learn to love being in church. Amen. And learn to love serving Yahweh. Yes, sir. Do y'all understand that? Amen. What else does it say? And they dwelt therein. Yeah. And have built thee a sanctuary therein mm-hmm. for thy name's sake. Yes. If when evil come upon us as the sword judgment or pestilence. Yes. Or famine. Yes. We stand before this house and in yeah. thy presence. For thy name is in this house. Yeah. And see, they had a natural enemy. Right. I don't see the Ammonites and the Moabites coming after us. No. You know what I see? I see us coming after each other. Yes, sir. I see spirits. The spirits can be in one another in this place. The spirits can be on your job. The spirits can be, uh, you know, just the devil telling you that you don't want to spend all your money Mm. on Pakula (laughs) and all that kind of stuff. We got spirits to fight. It's not that that an army of human beings is coming after us. It's an army of spirits fighting against what we're being taught to do in this place. Where we can't divorce and remarry. Right. Where you can't run off just because your husband cheats on you. Uh-huh. Or your wife cheats on you. Right. You can't get rid of them. You can't stop loving them. Right. Right. You can't give up on them. Yes. Right. We, they, we got the devil coming with his armies against us on that. Yes. Amen. Yes. We got to rebuke the devil. We got to keep on going to prayer. We got to keep on talking about what he did in the past. For the people in the Bible, we got to talk about what he did for us in our past. We need to talk about what he's doing right now and acknowledge that he's still alive. He's still in the church. He's still moving. He's still doing so so that we can continue to speak life, speak hope for our children. Hallelujah. When it looks like your children don't want to serve Yahweh. When it looks like they got like one pinky toe still in the church. Uh It looks that way sometimes. Yes, sir. You don't know what they're going to do. You're wondering if they've got the same love for God that you do. Right. Amen. 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 The devil tried to use all that as weight to make you give up. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. But you told him that you were going to go if you got to go all by yourself. You told him that. Right. We said it. We sang the song all the time. You always said, well, I'm going to give you a chance to prove that. (laughs) Right. That's right. Lord. And of course, everything we go through, you're supposed to examine yourself throughout the whole entire thing. Yes, what Lord. can I change? Have I got myself psyched out about something in my life? Right. Yeah. I better change. Yeah. 
I better con- just in case it's me, I better keep on working on myself. Right. Amen. Got to keep myself humble. Amen. Read on. What does it say? And cry unto thee in our affliction. Yeah. Then thou wilt hear and help. Yes. And now, behold, the children of Ammon and Moab and Mount Seir, whom thou wouldest not let Israel invade. Yeah. When they came out of the land of Egypt. Read. But they turned from them and destroyed them not. Yeah. Behold. Then Yahweh, Yahweh uh, told the children of Israel, don't attack these people. You just go on to that promised land I gave for you. But, and, and they did that. But don't you know, the, ch- the children of Israel disobeyed Yahweh. And that's the reason why these armies were coming up against them. Yes, sir. Amen. So we need to learn how to acknowledge our part in the reason why we're going through what we're going through. Yes, sir. Every, it's not always our fault that people are doing you wrong or people are doing you evil. But sometimes it is. Yes. That's right. Right? Right. That's why Apostle Washington is real quick to tell us, don't call yourself Job. Right. If you haven't been walking upright, right? I'm, you may, remember the one, the one brother who came back in here, he's like, I'm just like Job. He's like, you, you are not. You have not been obedient. You backslid. You gave up on serving Yahweh. How are you like Job? You're not. You, you just got sores like Job, but you're not like Job. That's right. Now with me, that makes me slow down. And quit calling myself so righteous and trying to apply myself to righteous people it makes me slow down and really be slow to consider whether I'm really like Job or not. Right. Amen. Amen. And, you know, because we're all still growing in grace, we're all still learning from the Lord. We all understand that there are some things about us that are going to have to change as we go along, as we draw nearer and nearer to the Lord. We can, we, 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 can, we can still be like Job, though, because he grew also. Even though he was perfect, he grew from his experience. Yes, he did. Amen. But we got to slow down and be real about ourselves, why, what, our go- what we're going through. Yes, sir. Right. Amen. Amen. Have I been perfect like the Bible said Job was? Right. That escheweth evil? Yes. Amen. Mm-hmm. Amen. I have to say that I haven't always been perfect. Amen. 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 Yes, sir. But I'm striving to to continue to grow in grace. Yes, Lord. I'm I'm, I'm praying to Yahweh, deliver me from these Ammonites. Amen. (laughs) Deliver me from all these armies that are coming after me. You're right in all your ways. I'm just a man. I've done wrong. I I just want to. Put up all my evil ways and serve you, Father Yahweh. Yes, Lord. You know, and, and you're, if, if it takes these armies to help me to become everything that I'm supposed to be, uh-huh. then so be it. Amen. Just perfect me. Amen. Make me what you want me to be. Help me to where I'm not letting you down in any way. Amen. Because I want to be perfect for you, Father Yahweh. I want to worship you with a perfect heart. Right. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. That's what we ought to get. Out of what we're going through. We'll never get there without prayer. Yes, sir. We'll never get out get there without some fear. Yes, sir. We'll never get there without some gathering together. Right. Amen? Amen. Amen. Because once you make up your mind to do what's right to do, Yahweh says, Okay, I want you to serve your brother. I want you to serve your sister. Yes. Get out there and become my servant. Get out there and become my ambassador. Amen. 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 Some of us don't even get started because we're lazy. Yes, sir. Right. When we finally it clicks and you mean to serve Yahweh means you can't be lazy. But I am. I don't want to do all that. And you know, many people give up right then and there. Yes, sir. They leave out the doors because they know they don't want to do this thing. That was Brother Blake. Yes, sir. He knew he did not want to do all of this. And so he concluded, I don't think I got the love of God in me. I don't think, yeah, he just wanted to talk about Bible facts or, you know, Bible subjects. But whenever he found out what it takes to be holy, he's just sitting there, plain faced, just staring. No action. He came to a conclusion. I I don't, I don't think I'm ever going to do this. And Apostle Washington said, well, some people just don't have the love of God in their hearts. Right. They're just yeah. not going to do this thing. Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah. It's sad. Yes, sir. Yeah. It's sad. But what about me? What about you? Right. Right. you know? 
You're going to give up? You're going right. to faint in that day of adversity? Right. Whenever somebody treats you right, wrong? Right. Amen? Amen? Are you going to faint when you don't want to treat people right? You're going to faint or you're going to step up? Yes. Right. yes. Hallelujah. Step up and quit. Like some of us like to make fun of other people, right? Amen. I used to make fun of people a lot when I was in the world. And, and I realized when I came to church, I had been made fun of so much. That I realized how much it hurt. Yes, Yahweh had to do that to me to make me want to stop. Amen. It was great while I was making fun of y'all. Yes. But whenever people started making fun of me and bullying me and abusing me, yeah. then my eyes opened to how it's wrong. Yes, sir. And, and then when I came to church, Yahweh, uh, get, he, he opens up your understanding. Yes. And he helps you to see how bad and wrong things are. Yeah. Yeah. And then you, you can know it's bad and wrong. But unless Yahweh helps you to get the strength to do what's right, Amen. to put it into practice, Amen. it's just knowledge. Yeah, yeah. Knowledge isn't doing you anything, just sitting out there doing nothing. Amen. Got to put it into practice. Yes. Amen. 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 What else does it say? Behold, mm -hmm. I say how they reward us to come to cast us out of thy possession, uh -huh. which thou hast given us to inherit. Read. O oh, our God, yeah. will thou not judge them? Yes. For we have no might against this great company uh -huh. that cometh against us. Yeah. Neither know we what to do. Yes. But our eyes are upon thee. But our eyes are upon thee. See, saints, there's absolutely we that there's absolutely nothing that we can do. Satan's gonna overpower you. Amen. Unless, unless you concentrate yourself. Yes. Amen. You and you join in. Because we can have Bible studies every Sunday. We can have prayer once a month. We can like put into practice everything to encourage and get unity. We could even like just set up fellowships like we do around here. We do that. But it's not going to help you unless you willfully, willingly join in Amen. and become part of it. Amen. Amen. And all of the things the devil has to say to us, you know, he makes you really observant. Do you notice this? Yes. Do you notice this about your brother? Do you notice this about your sister? Amen. I have those thoughts all the time. Right. Because we all human beings, our brains never stop wor working. As soon as we wake up, sometimes when I wake up in the morning, I'm like, oh, no, I'm awake. Because that means the devil's going to try to talk to me. Amen. When I'm asleep, it's like you get a little bit of rest. But as soon as you wake up, you're like, I'm awake. Mm -hmm. I know it's given, you know, for the devil to make war with the saints. So yeah. here come the thoughts. Oh, yeah. So I, I have to fight, you know, be circumspect yeah. about what the devil's going to try to do to oh, me yes. that day. Yes, he's going to try to make pit me at odds with my brothers and my sisters. Oh, yes. That's what he's trying to do. Amen. The only way that we're going to make this thing through together, and I'm not talking about just make it. I don't want us to just make it in hypocrisy. Right. I want us to make it in righteousness, yes. where we're all really working on ourselves and becoming better people, growing, changing, yes. evolving into be more like Yeshua Messiah together. Every single one of us, nobody excluded. But the only person I can make sure is, is, is becoming more and more like Yeshua Messiah every single day is me. Me. So let's put away all the negativity that the devil tries to make us have towards one another. That way we'll, this church will just get nothing but stronger and stronger. Amen. And we won't give up. We'll be there for Lubbock. We'll be there for Mexico. And when it seems like there's no way, he'll make a way out of no way. If we will do this right here. We will start seeking Yahweh's face and turning to him for all of our problems. Amen. And not being conformed to the world. Praise Yahweh. Because this Christmas stuff is out there. Had to be like Prophet Washington. Nope, I don't celebrate. Uh, not Prophet Washington. Prophet Jenkins when he was talking about not me. Don't give me anything for Christmas. Like I'm like, I don't celebrate Christmas. Do your kids eat cookies? Yeah, I got one daughter. She's still at the house. And yes, she likes cookies. But don't make me any because I don't celebrate Christmas. Well, this is not for Christmas. It is. It is clearly for Christmas. Because you always said Merry Christmas to everybody. And then you told me this is not for Christmas. 
So I'm willing to go without some cookies, Abby. You didn't get any cookies. You were going to get some chocolate chip cookies. I told him, no, my daughter does not need those cookies. Amen. We keep on doing that kind of stuff, not minding lifting up a standard. Yes, sir. All is going to be well with this house. We keep loving one another. Hallelujah. Amen. At this time, Hallelujah. let's uh, Hallelujah. rise and receive the next preacher. Hallelujah. Let's rise, receive Prophet Washington by saying, Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Hallelujah. Thank you for more patience with the van. Amen. <laughs> hey we all can be seated. And I want to thank Yahweh for him because. He let me use his van. Mm -hmm. I wreck it. And then he did, he's not telling me, you better pay for my van. You better pay for my van. It would have been a totally different story if I would have damaged your wheel, messed it all up. Because then I'd be taking him out of business. I would have to fix that thing because I couldn't do you like that. Right. But thankfully, it was a very small hit and it didn't damage his ability to continue to do the work. But he could have easily just got on to me. And demanded, I demand satisfaction. He didn't do me like that. Amen. But, you know, that's the kind of, I thank Yahweh for the love that you have. And uh, I would have fixed the thing if I would have damaged it. I love oh, you. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. Yes. Amen. As long as it's still doing what it needs to do. <laughs> Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Uh, Pastor, uh, Yahweh's will, if you had words, maybe Yahweh's will, uh, if Yahweh seems fit for us to be here Thursday. But I received a phone call from Apostle Washington. That's why I'm up here before you all. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. So, Kamiko, I guess your dream is true. Yes, Lord. Amen. Um, but nonetheless, I truly thank Yahweh for the words that came forth through uh, Apostle Hurley this yes, night. Sir. Yes, sir. Amen. I pray that it ministered to everybody's soul and. Yes. Truly apply what was shared to your life because we definitely need it in these last and evil days. Yes. Yes. Amen. And in the house of Yahweh is a place where we know that as long as we uh, apply the teaching to our lives, yes. all will be well with us. Yes, sir. Amen. There's nothing that can deter us from the faith. Amen. Amen. Despite whatever trials and tribulation one may face. Yes. Right. Um, because we know that according to the scripture, you know, we are able to be delivered. Yes, sir. But the man of God once said that he had already made an escape for us. Yes. So, you know, just take the time now, just a moment, and just think about all that you're going through. Yeah. Amen. Whether your children are not here, your husband is not here, your wife not here. Right. Sickness, whatever the case may be, Yahweh already made a way of an escape for you. Yes, sir. Right. Amen. So, but you have to believe him to his words. Yes. Amen. And that's why, you know, faith has to be applied in this way here. But there's many trials and tribulations, adversities that you and I face, and sometimes it, it seems almost impossible when you look at it with the naked eye. Yeah, right. Yeah. But you have to take on spiritual eyes, amen, amen to see amen. that all that happens to us, it work out for those that, that love the Lord. That's right. Amen. Right. And, and, and at first start there, you truly have to love the Lord. Amen. And I truly thank Yahweh also for Apostle Washington. Um, amen. You know, I thank Yahweh for my father. He don't miss a beat. <laughs> Amen. He's a man that we can truly say that he has devoted himself to this ministry. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. Sleepless nights. Yeah. Yes, yes. Hey, hallelujah. Hallelujah. He truly have devoted himself to this ministry because he truly loved the Lord. Yes. Yes, Lord. Not only that, but he truly loved every single one of us. Yes. Right. Amen. And he loved us so much that even though, hallelujah, we can be stubborn at times. Right. He communed with Yahweh to find words to reach us. That's right. Amen. And, and I truly thank Yahweh that he has that type of love. You know, sometimes certain things might be mentioned. I remember he shared something with me and hurt my feelings and hurt my heart. Um, but those same words caused me to stand before y'all this day. Yes. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. And, and, and I pray that Yahweh continue to be with the man of God to allow him to see many years, a long life, because we truly need him. Thank Yahweh also as far as the other bishops that Yahweh bless us with in these last and evil days. Yes, sir. Seeing that we do have the fivefold ministry. Amen. Amen. But at this time here, I have to call everyone's attention 
to 1 Corinthians chapter 5. Amen. And I truly thank Yahweh for the dream that Sister Kamiko had. Amen. Yes, Amen. I truly thank Yahweh for all these dreams that come forth. Yes. Mm. Amen. The Spirit really wants us to examine ourselves. Yes, yes. sir. And in, the, in her dream, I just saw a lot of chaos. Yes, sir. Yes. Amen. Yes. Yeah. A lot of chaos and structure and all of that. Um, and you have to be careful uh, because as the man of God was sharing with us all this night that, you know, Satan, he wants to see us destroyed. Mm-hmm. Amen. He has the power if you led him to overcome us. It's given us to Satan to make war with the saints. Mm-hmm. And he has his different forms of uh, uh, formalities, if you will, um, yes. to do just that. That's right. mm-hmm. Amen. If you was fighting through some trial or tribulation today, Satan came to you. Right. Yes. That was a formality. Amen. Mm-hmm. Amen. Whatever the case may be, whether we're dealing with your husband, your wife, yes. spirit driven, <laughs> yeah. whatever the case may be, it was a formality that caused you to want to take your minds over Yahweh right. and for you to do the right thing. Yes. Right. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. So let's go ahead and start reading there, Evangelist. First Corinthians 5 and 1 uh-huh. is written. It is written. It is reported commonly. It is reported commonly. That there is fornication among you. Apparently, the church of Corinth, they had a problem. Yes. yes. Amen. Mm-hmm. Amen. I look around here and even in here, we have problems. Yes. Problems, amen. Yes. From here all the way up to Lubbock. Yes. Amen. Go all the way down to Mexico. Mm. Right. There's problems. And one thing about the spirit, it addresses problems. Yes, sir. Um, because I'm here, the Holy Spirit here to save us from our sins. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. And we should be thankful, amen, that Yahweh sent his only begotten son into this wicked world. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's how you have to see it. There's a bunch of wickedness yes, Lord. in the world. Oh, yes. And if you have to acknowledge that wickedness. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, he said, but as I wrote, fornication among you. Forna- he said, calmly, fornication among you. Yes, sir. Uh, calmly, that's, don't you know that's calmly among some of us? Right. Yes, sir. Amen. Huh? Amen. Bible says they know them who you labor among. Yes. Uh, we were a small body in here, and I can look at some that is something just common among you. Yes. Amen. Yes. Hey, I truly thank Yahweh for Pastor Bibbs. He has been working on himself. Amen. Yes, sir. Um, but he was warned that, you know, some of our sins are open to all. Right, yes. right. Some, uh, some things that we do, we hide it. It's just between us and Yahweh. Yes, sir. Uh, but there's something that's common about our behavior. Yes, sir. Yes. Amen. To the point where the spirit went forth and said that he's no longer justified to praise himself. Right. And say right. that, uh, 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 or even within us. Yes. Uh, that the spirit spoke and said that his wife have to come for it. Right, right. Because we can't take your word no longer for it. Yes, sir. Because it's common among some of us to keep laying down the foundation of repentance yes. or just doing certain things. Yes, sir. Yes. Amen. And so you have to be aware of that. You have to open up your eyes to the behavior of those. Uh-huh. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because uh-huh. we want to read about uh, 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 individuals that, that fail in this category of fornication. Yes, yes, sir. And we all know that fornication can signify any form of wickedness. Right, right. Right. Mm-hmm. right. Then you had the behavior of those that that that, that was puffed up. Mm-hmm. Yes. Right. When you know that you can partake in someone's wickedness and they sins, that you can strengthen the hands of the evildoer if you don't do the right thing. Yes, right. sir. Right. Amen. Yes. Yes, sir. Read it. And such fornication, he said. And such fornication, as is not so much as named among the Gentiles, uh-huh. that one should have his father's wife. You know, sometimes some of us we just do things that just don't make no sense. Right. Yes. 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 They even sinners. Wouldn't find themselves doing that. They got at least, they got at least enough morals. <laughs> they have enough morals in the world to love their neighbor. Right. And here we 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 got the love of God in us. So we say it and we act, we act, uh, choose not to love the brotherhood the right way. Yes, sir. And what I mean by that is doing the right thing. Yes, mm-hmm. yes, right. Yes, Lifting up a standard, letting your light shine, doing the right thing. Yes. yes. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. Read it. And you are puffed up. He said, and you are puffed up. And have not rather mourned. And have not rather mourned. That he that hath done this deed might be taken away from among you. And so you have to be careful how you, uh, how you tend to conduct yourself when you hear of certain things. Yes. Yes. 
See, some of us, we, we have no problem participating in certain activities and, 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 and all of that, but, 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 but fail to lift up a standard and do the right thing. Yes, sir. Amen. That's right. Amen. Yes. All right, so he said, you are puffed up. And have not rather mourn. And have not rather mourn. And he that See, it's, it's not thing. a time to celebrate when you have weak brothers and sisters in the faith here. Right. Yes. He that is strong, you should bear the infirmities of the weak. Yes. Right. Hallelujah. That means you have somebody that's weak in your presence. Mm -hmm. uh, because we have tears in the church. Mm -hmm. yes. We have weeks in the church. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. And, and the behavior of this person who decide to uh, uh, take his father's wife, uh -huh. mm -hmm. yes, his sir. stepmother. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. This was a, a act of fornication. Uh -huh. It was it was it was wickedness. Right, right. And sometimes we in here we do things. Hallelujah. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's off, based off wickedness. Uh huh. And we have no problem doing it. Then you have those, Hallelujah, that 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 that's, that's, that's as the Bible says, puffed up. Mm -hmm. That's one that's arrogant. Yes, sir. Boastful. Don't have no 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 sense of shame mm -hmm. to stand up and do the right thing. Right. right. And don't have no problem getting with those that con uh, conduct themselves in a manner. Yes. Amen. Right. Hallelujah. Amen. That's right. Yes, Lord. And the Spirit wants us to do the right thing to help one another. Yes. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. That's why Apostle Paul said, "Take heed to doctrine and thyself. If you do these things, you also save yourself and they that will hear you." Mm -hmm. yes. Because many of us, as even though we're a small body in here, yes. many of us are closer to others than others in here. Right. Amen. Yes. Amen. Hmm? Right. And and those that are weak, they know who to gravitate to. Yes, sir. Yes. Not gravitating for the right thing. Let's be strong. Right. Yeah. It's always about the natural. Yes, sir. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. And you don't want to be puffed up to the point where you're blind to this. You're oblivious to it. That's right. Yes, Yahweh. Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord. Yes, sir. Read it. And you're puffed up. And you are puffed up. And have not rather mourn. And have not rather see. It's not a time to be rejoicing. You should feel bad about that if someone will want to conduct themselves in a manner. Yes. Here you got a, a wife refusing to honor her husband. Hmm? Yes. See him as a Lord. Right. It's not time to be happy and, 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 and go lucky with him. Right. Hmm? Be yeah, she talking to you about it. He talking to you about it. Uh-huh. It's time to mourn because best believe that if you if your conduct changes, it's gonna cause them to think. Right. Amen. When I robbed that bank, I didn't get with Evangelist Davis or Evangelist Childers. Yes, Lord. I got with those that thought like me. Like-minded. Yes, sir. And that's what we do in here. We gravitate to those that think just like us. Amen. 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 So you don't want to be puffed up. Yes, Lord. Hmm? Hallelujah. Full of yourself. You can't see it. Yes, sir. I mean, when you should be mourning. Yes. Yes, sir, read it. That he that had done this deed, that he be, that had done this deed might be taken away from among you. Uh-huh, because I, I promise you if, you, if you, if you do the right thing, they're going to they gonna consider what you're doing. Right. They're going to consider their ways. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hmm? Yeah. Because now their mind is not set on the very thing that they think that you want to do. Mm -hmm. right. yeah. mm -hmm. yes. yes, sir, let's read it. For I verily... For I verily, as absent in body, uh -huh. but present in spirit, yes, sir, read have it. judged already, uh -huh. as though I were present, yes, concerning Lord. him that had done so this deed. Uh -huh. And see, that's how Apostle Washington operates. Yes. Yeah. Amen, huh? He already judged the matter. Yes. Even in Mexico. Yes. Amen. 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 Because the spirit is with the man of God. Yes. That's right. Now, you know, that somehow I behave, it, it troubles a man of God, and it's, the spirit stir him up. He said he was out there. The spirit said a name to him. Amen. Yes, sir. And immediately he called me because that's uh, a few days before I had a vision of a, of an individual yes, sir. doing the wrong thing. Yes. Amen. And the spirit showed me exactly what they were doing, so I related to him. Right. He said, "I wonder why the spirit have uh, troubled me and, and 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 mentioned that individual's right. name." Right. Mm -hmm. yes, it's common among some of us to participate in fornication. Yes, sir. Yes. Always, always find that brother. They always find that sister in that. Amen. When the scripture asks you to maintain good works. Yes, yes Lord. Yes. That's right. Amen. Yes, Lord. Yes, sir. Read it. 
In the name of our Lord Yeshua the Messiah. He said, in the name of our Lord Yeshua the Messiah. When you are gathered together, uh -huh. in my spirit, yes, sir. With the power of our Lord Yeshua the Messiah, yes, sir. To del to deliver such an one unto Satan. And see, many of us, if we forget that, don't you know that we as bishops have the power to deliver you over unto Satan? Right. <laughs> Based off disobedience. Yes, sir. That's scary to be delivered over unto Satan. Yes, sir. Right. Mm -hmm. Amen. And that's why Apostle Washington, before he do that, he always tries his best to reach you right. with good words. Oh, yeah. Words of exhortation. Yes. Because we don't want to deliver you over unto Satan. Right. No. Your action caused it to happen for you to be delivered over unto Satan. That's right. Amen. It said to the destruction of the flesh. Yes, sir. However, it may come. Amen. I think a brother Sonny. Huh? Many of y'all heard the news about his son that passed. Yes, sir. He was one, and my father said that he was uh, like an Alexander the Carpetsmith unto him. A one that would not cease from perverting the gospel. Yes, yes. Don't you know if you don't do the right thing, you was one that perverts the gospel? Yes, sir. We trying to get you to stop perversing it? Mm -hmm. When a sister can't love her husband the right way, you perverse the gospel? Yes. When a husband can't line up to to the to the, uh, 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 the, the, the 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 standard that the perfect man set up, you pervert the gospel. Yes, sir. At this time here, we all know that if you if you married as a husband, we give all our finances to the wife. Right. That just if she wise enough to take care of it. Yes, sir. You know we still do things decently in order. Yes, sir. That's right. Um, but everybody has not came up to these things. Amen. Um, but the spirit is merciful and, and so we plead with you Hoping that one day you can come to the acknowledging of the truth right. That one day you can be apt to the teaching right. um, Yes sir Amen. But many of us forget that Don't you know we can deliver you over unto Satan Yes sir Amen. So this, this brother he refused to stop perversing uh, 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 Season from perverting the gospel Yes sir right. He was delivered over unto Satan. Yes, sir. Yes. The death of his own son is based off the action of a father. Oh, yes, right. sir. Yes, Lord. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. That's why when I preached the last message, I looked at you all, and we as parents, I said, you take a look at that child. Mm -hmm. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. Take a, y'all ain't care less the innocence of it. That's right. right. The child to be saved. Right. right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, y'all. Mm -hmm. I said, take a good look at that yeah. child. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yes, Man. That husband that you refuse to love, take a good look at him. Yeah. That wife, you take a good look at her. Yes, yes. yes sir. Um, we 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 dealing with a a, a serious God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Living. A, a living God yes. that shake the very foundation at which you think you stand on. Amen. Right. Amen. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Read it. To deliver, to deliver such an one unto Satan. To deliver such a one unto Satan for the destruction of the flesh. For the destruction of the flesh. That's what it's for. Hallelujah. Right. Yes, sir. Apostle Stanford. Uh, you see that, uh, brother Bryant. That time the Spirit gave him over to Satan. Mm -hmm. yes. Satan actually possessed him. Yeah. True. He uh, he went out and he he tore all the the skin off of his feet. Messed up his hand by yes. putting it through a window. Mm -hmm. All of that because he wouldn't obey. But then the spirit said, I'm going to turn you over to Satan. And this is the outcome. Yeah. yeah. He was uh, down for a month. Down for a month because of disobedience. Yeah, right. um, you should be thankful that, you, that Yahweh placed on our apostle Washington heart to be merciful. Yes, sir. Uh, they keep trying to reach you with different forms of words. Right. Yeah. Uh, different forms of uh, 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 approaches of love. Yeah. You don't know what you're dealing with. That's right. You don't know who you you fighting against a living God. Yes, that's right. I kill and I make alive. Yes, Lord. That's right. Yeah, it's a terrible thing. That's right, Brother Chris, to fall into the hands of a living God. Amen. Hmm? Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Read the evangelist. That the spirit may be saved. He said that the spirit may be saved. In the day of the Lord Yeshua. Huh? Because uh, the spirit wants you to be saved. Yes. I think about my, 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 my own doings. Huh? My actions, I was delivered over. Yes, sir. Yes. I ended up doing, going away for six years. Yes, sir. Huh? That the spirit may be saved. Yes, sir. Yes. I thank Yahweh that I had an opportunity to finally come uh, open my eyes to this thing. Yes. Uh, some of us will still have a hard heart to it. 
Harden our heart, amen? Yes. Have our conscience seared with a hot iron, yes. even being delivered over. Uh huh. Yes, Yahweh. That's right. Mm -hmm. Right. Yes, Lord. Like you said, because everyone don't have the love of the, of, of the Lord in their hearts. No. Right. Love is going to make you do the right thing. Right. right. Yes, Lord. Right, Lord. Mm -hmm. Hence, he was, what, uh, what the Messiah said, if you love me, you will keep my keep commandments. My commandments. Yes, love is going to make you do the right thing. Yes, Lord. Right. That's right. If you love the Lord, it's going to make you do the right thing. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Right. I heard some good news about Brother Lee, how he putting the liquor down. Amen. Love caused him to do that. Huh? Learn to be temperate. Yes. Amen. That's right. Hallelujah. Um, but we all are messed up. Amen. Yes, yes. Uh, and the Spirit come out and they point out these things in our lives. Yes, it does. His love is what causes change in our lives. Uh -huh. yes. First, you have to be ashamed. Yes, Lord. Amen. Yes, sir, read it. Your glorying is not good. Your glorying is not good. Know ye not that a living uh, All that, that you, you boast upon, when you, you stand upon, right. your glorying is not good. Right. Yes, sir. Mm. Some of us, we're, not, we're just not phased by the things that we do. Right. 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 Mm. Man. It don't bother us to, for us to do the things that we do. Yeah. That's right. Yes, sir. Man. That's why it's really easy to lay down a foundation of repentance. Yes. Amen. That's why it's common about the fornication among some of us. Yes, Yahweh. Amen. That's ongoing. Amen. Amen. Yes. Your glory is not good. No, you not. No, you not. That a little leaven leaveneth the whole lump. No, you not. That a little leaven hmm? leaveneth the whole lump, or just a little bit of you. And that's what the spirit is trying to, is always trying to show you, you. Yes, sir. Amen. That's right. Every time we come into the house of Yahweh, that's what we, we, we're coming here so the spirit can point out things in our lives. Yes, Lord. Yes, sir. Amen. Because this flesh, it would deceive you. So it takes the spirit to point it out to you. Because you're sitting here and you think you're all right. Hence the glory. Yes. It's not good. Amen. No, you not. Mm -hmm. Huh? Hallelujah. That a little leaven, leaven is the whole lump. A little bit of you, huh? It's going to mess up everything. Yes. yes. Uh, a little bit of you going to destroy your marriage. Everything. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. Your glory that you think is good is you trying to uphold that little, that, 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 that hints of pride. Amen. Huh? Being puffed up will destroy that marriage. Yes. Amen. Yes, Lord. Right. That's right. A little will cause you want to give a piece of your mind. Right. It's just a piece. It's not all of it. <laughs> but that piece going to destroy it. Yes. Amen. Yes, y'all. That's right. That's right. Yes, sir. A little leaven. Uh-huh. Leaven at the whole lump. Read it. Purge out the... Purge out, therefore, the old leaven. See, but that's what you have to do. You have to purge out, therefore, the old leaven. Yes, sir. Uh, and that's what we're trying to do. That's what uh, Apostle uh, uh, Hurley did when he stood before me. Hallelujah. Yes. What I'm doing now. Yes. Amen. Yes, when you decide to tune in to the word as preach out in to, uh, out there in, in, in Lubbock. Oh, yeah. Hmm? Oh, yes. The Spirit wants you to purge out that old leaven. Yes, sir. That, that's just the evil ways. Yeah. yeah. But we all have it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. That's why Apostle Paul said I die daily. We all have it. Yes. Yeah. Amen. You say you don't like waking up sometimes. Because what what awaits you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's that old leaven awaiting. Oh yes. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. If you're not ready to keep keep uh, continue to purify yourself to purge it out. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. Yes. Right. Which is easier to say? Yeah. Which is easier to say, purge or mortify? Uh -huh. right. Amen. 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 Both mean to up to destroy, clean, yeah. purify. Amen. Get rid of. Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord. Yeah. That's right. Amen. Yes, Yahweh. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lord. And you have to see this because if you don't, you, you won't, it'll be impossible for you to see uh, 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 what your neighbor is doing. Amen. Yes. To see it wrong. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. That's why I said many people don't like being around me. 
Because um, if you have a different spirit, you want to get away from me. Right, right. Nobody with the wrong spirit gonna come to Prophet Washington, yes. Amen, and 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 want to uh, promote what they want to do. Right, right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Yes. Right. Amen. I have young brothers don't even want to be around me. Right. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. They'll visit cousin before they visit me. Yes, sir. Yeah. Not to stay down the street. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. But when you do the right thing, you cause people to always examine themselves. Yes, sir. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Yes. yes, sir. That's what you want. You want your light to be a judge. Yes, Lord. Amen. Right. Amen. Mm -hmm. It is right. Yes, sir. Read it. Purge out there, out therefore the old leaven. Purge out therefore the old leaven, that you may be a new lump. That you may be a new lump, as you are unleavened. Right. That you may be a new lump. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Read it. As you are unleavened. Uh huh. For even the Messiah, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Yes, sir. Read it. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Therefore, let us keep the feast, not with old leaven. Therefore, let's keep Yahweh's words. Let's keep his ways, not with the old level. You can't, it's impossible to keep what he's asking of you if you hold it on to your old ways. Yes. Right. It's impossible to do it. Yes, Lord. Right. Yes, Yahweh. Oh, mm. yes. You wonder why Yahweh ain't pleased with some of us? Mm -hmm. Why was so much chaos in Sister Kamiko's dream? Yes, yes, sir. You hold it on to old level. You hold it on to old ways. Right. That's right. Amen. Yes, Yahweh. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. You have to get with those that are strong. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Right. Amen. Get if you're weak, you can't get with those that are weak. You're not going to do the right thing. Right. right. Yes, Lord. That's right. No matter, no matter what it is. Mm -hmm. right. That's why you can't be too puffed up. Right. Because hmm? yes, you have those that are weak, that's in here this week that would call for something. Right. Hmm? Amen. Yes. Amen. And you'll take it as a fellowship. Mm -hmm. It ain't time to fellowship. Yes, sir. Right. Amen. Not if, it, not if uh, unless somebody spiritual minded gonna be there. Well, you know that you're gonna do the right thing. Right, right, right. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Amen. Yes, sir. Read it. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Uh huh. Not with old leaven. Yes, sir. Neither with the leaven of malice and wickedness. Mm hmm. But with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Read it. I wrote unto you in an epistle yes, sir. not to company with fornicators. He said, I wrote to you in an epistle not to company with fornicators. Yes, sir. And now, you know, he ain't talking about those in the world. No. I'm talking about the fornicators here. Yes. We just spoke, read, started, and I reported that that's reported as common fornicators among you. Yes, sir. Yes. That's right. The, the things that saints choose to do. Yes. yes. That's right. Man. Mm -hmm. you, you like getting drunk, you're a fornicator. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen, huh? Amen. Yes, Yahweh. You can't come up here and give Yahweh what he is, you're a fornicator. Amen. 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 Yes, Yahweh. I mean, the list goes on. Yes, sir. Yes. But he's not referring to those in the world. Of course, of course we got to be around them. Right, right. We all got jobs. <laughs> we work with them. Yes, Lord. Your boss might be one. Mm -hmm. And the person that passed you the letters is one. Yes, sir. He's referring to those that are here. Yes, sir. Yes. In the body. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. Read it. Yet not altogether with the fornicators of this world, uh -huh. or with the covetous, yes, sir. or extortioners, uh -huh. or with idolaters. Mm -hmm. For there must, for then must ye needs go out of the world. Yes, sir. But now I have written unto you not to keep company mm -hmm. if any man that is called a brother. And that's what he's referring to. Right. Yes. But this is all we got. You're right. You can't do the right thing with those that are here. You got to learn to separate yourself. Right. 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 Hmm? Yeah. Yes. That's what them, them two brothers did with me and John Jr. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Man. Right. They separated themselves. Yes, sir. I have no company with her. But we weren't doing the right thing. Amen. Yes, sir. Right. But you can't be so puffed up that you can't see this. Amen. 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 That's right. I don't care that's your best friend. Vance the children and I, we were extremely close. Right, right. Uh, partly because he desired my sister right. <laughs> when he first came in here. So, right. of course, he's going to gravitate to those that's closer to her brother, right. mother, father. Oh, yeah. We spent a lot of time together. Right. Oh, yeah. 
Amen. Yes, sir. A lot of time. I spent a lot of time at his house. Yes, sir. During the time, I was doing the right thing. Right. Uh, but then there was a time when I decided to not do the right thing anymore. Right. right. Yeah, Amen. Our relationship began to uh, uh, part ways. Yes, sir. We weren't as close as we once were. That's right. Like I said, he didn't go to prison with me. No, no. So it says, but now I have written to you to not to keep company. If any man that is called a brother be a fornicator. Look around. Look to your left. That's a brother there. Mm -hmm. Look to the left. That's a sister there. Yes, sir. Yes, mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So you have to learn to use righteous judgment. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what you've been taught, mm -hmm. honey. Wherefore, our brethren, as we beseech you and we exhort you by our Lord and Savior, Yahshua the Messiah, that as you have received of us how you ought to walk and how you ought to please God, that you would abound more and more. So you know what commandments we gave unto thee by our Lord and Savior, Yahshua the Messiah. Yes. Uh, for this is the will of God, even unto your sanctification, that you should abstain from what? Fornication. Fornication. Right. Hmm? To abstain from all that stuff that, 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 that separates you from the Lord. Right. Right. Even the people that are involved. Yes, sir. Let the strong, amen, deal with them. Right, right. Well, Apostle Washington not getting out the spirit with those that are weak. Right, right. Apostle Stanford not getting out the spirit with those that are weak. Yes, Lord. Yes, sir. They got a good eye and good ears based on what they saying. No, I'm it's a mischief in that. Right, right. And it's, it's not good. It's not, it's, even though you and I come together, it's not going to be edifying to your soul. Right, right. Amen. Right. Yes, y'all. Yeah, yeah. Right. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That you should abstain from fornication. Yes, yes sir. But everyone should know how to possess their vessel yes. in sanctification in and honor. in honor. Amen. Not in the lust of concupiscence. Huh? As the Gentiles who know not God. See, you know who God is. Right. You know Yahweh. Yes. Amen. You know what Yahweh is expecting of you. You know yes. what holiness is. That's right. You know what lifting a standard is. Yes. That's right, Yahweh. That's right. I believe in the dream. She was saying that people were watching and all of that. We are living epistles read about men. Right. Amen. That's true. You know how you're supposed to be. Yes, yes. Lord. Yes, Amen. How are you supposed to exhort those that are weak? Yes. Amen. Yes, sir, read it. If any man that is called a brother, he said, if any man that is called a brother, be a fornicator, be a fornicator, or covetous, or a covetous, or an idolater, or an idolater, or a railer, or a railer, or a drunkard, or a drunkard, or an extortioner, uh huh, with such an one, yes, sir, know not to eat. Mm hmm. For what I have do to, what, for what have I do to judge him? You he's not wrong, amen. Right. Huh, these brothers was not wrong when they separated themselves from me. So they were not wrong Amen. when they separated themselves. See, we, this, everything we do is on Bible order. Amen. Yes, Lord. Them separating themselves from me put it put me to shame. Amen. Amen. Yes. Yes. The scripture says, "Behold, and how good, how pleasant it is for brother to Amen. dwell together unity. in unity." unity. Right. We want to unify because it, it was because of my actions. Amen. Yeah, right. not mischief, but unity. Right. Only you separate yourself from the brotherhood. Amen. Right. Oh, yes. Yes. No, that brother don't like me. That sister don't. No, they love you. <laughs> they try to cause you to examine yourself. Right, that's right. Mm -hmm. Amen. No, nah, I'm not going to do that. Amen. Mm -hmm. Cause him a slow nigga. You know what? You sure right. Yeah. I shouldn't be doing it either. Right. That's right. Yes, Go over to Thessalonians. Second Thessalonians chapter three. This first verse. Yes, sir. Second Thessalonians three and one mm -hmm. is written. Read it. Finally, brethren. Finally, brethren. Pray for us. See, pray for us. That the word of the Yahweh may have free course. And see, we, we, we want y'all to continue to pray for us. Yeah. Huh, that the words of Yahweh can have free course. Free course. Free course. 
uh -huh. and be glorified. And be glorified. We want his word. We want he want him to be glorified. Even as it is with you. Uh-huh. And that we may be delivered from unreasonable and wicked men. And you know that even in here, yes. huh, that we deal with unreasonable and wicked brothers and sisters of the faith. Yes. Right. It's hard talking to some of y'all sometimes. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Uh, sitting there doing our best, pleading with you. We know you ain't listening. Don't care. Yes. Amen. So we ask y'all to continue to pray for us. Yes, sir. Yes. Some of y'all can be so stubborn. Amen. So stiff necked. Oh, yes. right. Amen. And all we're doing is we're just trying our best to reach you. Amen. And don't realize how close we are to delivering you over to Satan. Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord. Amen. Just don't know how close. Man. Yes, sir. And that we may be delivered from unreasonable and wicked men. And that we may be delivered from unreasonable and wicked men. For all men have not faith. And because it start there. Mm -hmm. yes, man. All men have not faith. Mm -hmm. uh, and those that don't have it, they manifest themselves. Yes, sir. Uh, that's why so many people done left the body. Yes, sir. Uh, they, so many done turned their back on the Lord. Right. Yes, Lord. Amen. They, they saw his wonderful works. Right. Seeing how good he was to him, how merciful he was. Yes. That's why you spoke about Brother Blake. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. He was very unreasonable. <laughs> yes, My goodness, very unreasonable. Yeah. But all men, they have not faith. Right. And we know without faith, it's impossible to please Yahweh. Yeah, yeah, That's why he said what he said. Yes. Amen. See, some of us, we ain't bold enough to be uh, to speak those words like Brother Blake. Right. He bold. Yes, yes sir. He just gonna plunk, come on out and just tell you the truth. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes, sir. But your deeds is as bold as his words. Exactly. Yes, Amen. Amen. Yeah, your deeds is just as bold as his words. Yes. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Mm. Yes, sir. But Yahweh is faithful. Uh huh. Who shall establish you? See, but Yahweh, despite all of that, Yahweh is still faithful. Uh, he is able to establish you if you allow him to. Yes, sir. So when we come in here in the house of Yahweh, don't you know that with, uh, with the Spirit is trying to establish you in this present truth? This truth that's been presented to you right now, the Spirit is trying to establish you. Yes. Even though you can be, you, you might be puffed up. Mm -hmm. Right. Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lord. The Spirit is trying to establish you. Yes, sir. Yes. The whole time we can we kept talking about the drink and the Spirit was trying to establish you. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lord. And another mouth began to praise you, your sister-in-law, mm -hmm. your brother. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Because that's what the word is able to do yes. if you allow it. Yes, sir. The spirit is able to mend that which is broken yeah. if you allow it. If there's issues between husband and wife, the spirit is able to mend that. Mend it. Establish your marriage. Yes. But you have to want it. You have to desire it. Uh -huh. you, you, can't, you have to uh, 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 get rid of the leaven. Yes, sir. Yes, Lord. You got to get rid of the leaven, yes. the evil works, Heard the evil deeds. Yes. You got to stop being so puffed up. Mm -hmm. yeah. Quit being so arrogant. Yes, sir. Yeah. That's right. And let the Spirit direct your steps. Yes. Because he's faithful to, to, to do all of that. Yes, who shall establish you. Who shall establish and you. And keep you from evil. And keep what? And keep you, you from evil. You telling me that it's able to keep you from evil? Yes. It's able to keep you from evil? Keep you from evil. Hun, this, his words is establishing you is able to keep you from evil? Yes. Hallelujah. That's right. Exactly right. But he shall establish you. Not you. Amen. He. Yes. He alone. Amen. Uh-huh. Right. His teachings. Yes. Yes. Amen. That will shall establish you. Yes, Lord. Amen. Uh huh. And we have confidence in the Lord. He said, "We you, have confidence in the Lord touching you that you both do and will do the things uh -huh. which we command you." See, we trying to get you to have confidence. Yes. Yes. You don't want to uh, 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 diminish the Lord's ability. Right. Yes. That's right. Mm -hmm. According to your faith, you are healed. You're right. Yes. Yeah, that's right, Apostle. We have confidence because we tried it and it worked. Yes. Right. Amen. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. 
it's possible for every marriage in here to be like Apostle Washington and Mother oh, yeah. Washington. Yes, sir. Yes, it's possible. Yes, Lord. I said every marriage. Yes, Yahweh. Every marriage. You married? Yeah, it's possible. Yeah. Yes, sir. You're going to find out, DJ. Right, Z. It's possible every marriage can be like Apostle Washington yeah, and Mother Washington. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. That's right. Oh, yes. My marriage like it. And when I say that me and my wife, we don't argue, we don't argue. Amen. Yes, Lord. Right. Mm-hmm. I said something the other day that she didn't like. She held a peace. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, she was trying to prove a point. Right. Mm-hmm. I got that from somebody. Mm-hmm. And I have other men that can attest to the very thing. Oh, yes, sir. Other yes, sir. marriages that can attest to the yes, very Lord. thing. Yes, yes, yes. But if your marriage ain't there, it's because you refuse to allow him to establish your right, marriage. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. You get with those that that that's that, that established, mm-hmm. not those that marriage got issues and all of that. Right. Mm-hmm. It's most likely they think just like you. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Right. Yes, Lord. But this flesh is it's, it's something else. It'll yeah. never want to be around the strong. No. Right. Mm-hmm. Even my father often say, I don't understand uh, 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 why, why bishops don't want to be in my presence. Right. When Amen. we all go in the office, there was always one or two bishops gone. They, they, they don't want to be around. Amen. 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 Or for anybody. Amen. Right, right. That's right. Amen. I was his own son. I just avoid him in the house. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. I got to go across the threshold, the hallway right there. <laughs> Because I wasn't right. Right, right. I wasn't right. Yeah. So I didn't want him to see me. (laughs) Hit me with those eyebrows. Oh yeah. The uh, 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 the wrinkles. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's why you don't want to be around those that are strong. Amen. Yes, sir. And we have confidence in the Lord touching you. And we have confidence in the Lord touching you. That you both do and will do the things which we command you. And will do the things which we command you. Yes, sir. So we have confidence, huh? Have confidence in the Lord that He's able to do this in your life if you allow Him. Yes. Because He's here to mend that which is broken. Yes. All that is messed up in our life, you're always able to fix that if you allow Him to. Yes. Amen. Yes, sir. Read it. And the Lord direct your hearts into the love of God. That is where it starts. Hallelujah. Yahweh direct your heart mm-hmm. yes. into the love of God. Yes, sir. Yeah, your heart need to be directed. Yes. Mm-hmm. yes Lord. Amen. Yes, sir. We all been there. Let's talk to the man of God. And it's, no, it direct us back this way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. Right. Yahweh direct that heart. Mm-hmm. Your heart is directed in the right way. You're going to do the right thing. Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, when I got that phone call from Apostle uh, Hurley, I, I was upset. Oh, yeah. Amen. Amen. For one, he wanted to call me with an accident halfway through the movie of Avatar. <laughs> <laughs> you cost me 20 minutes of the movie. I don't even know what happened. I can't even tell them where I left off at so they can fill me in. Right. <laughs> 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 You need Yahweh to direct your heart. Yeah. Amen. Into the love of Yahweh. Into the love yes. of God. Of God. Uh-huh. This is going to cause you to do the right thing. Yes. Amen. Yes, Lord. Yes, sir. Read it. And into the patient waiting for the Messiah. Into the patient waiting of the Messiah. Yes, sir. Uh-huh. Now we command you, brethren. Now we command you, brethren. In the name of our Lord Yeshua the Messiah. Uh-huh. That you withdraw yourselves from every brother that walketh disorderly. What? That you withdraw yourselves. But that's my brother. best friend. Withdraw yourselves from every huh? brother that walketh disorderly. Huh? That's the that's the godmother of my children. Withdraw yourselves. Yes. Yes. Amen. That's my brother. Withdraw yourselves. I withdrew myself from my own brother. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Flesh and blood. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Yes. That's right. 
Mother in law, withdraw yourselves. Mother, withdraw yourself. Father, withdraw yourself. There's a reason it said obey uh, your parents in the Lord. I hear you, mother. I love you, but I can't do that. Right, right. Huh? Because my heart is directed in the ways of the Lord. I hear you. Yeah. I'm going I'm to respect you, but I can't honor that. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Yes, Lord. Amen. I hear you, Father. Huh? I love you, but I can't honor that. Yes. That's right. That's right. Yeah, you asked me to deny the faith. Yes, sir. That's why Apostle Washington kept trying to instill in Sister Ariana. You're grown. Yeah. Yeah. You're grown. Mm -hmm. You have your own family. Right. Amen. Mm -hmm. You have your own husband. You have your own child. Yeah. You're grown. Yes. Amen. yes, Lord. Amen. Because even in that, you hear reported commonly things. Uh huh. Yes. Huh? Behavior of a mother, behavior of a father. Right. Yes. Hey, and you can't be puffed up to the point you can't see what's going on. That's right. Yes, Lord. That's right. Mm -hmm. Now we command you, brethren, in the name of our Lord Yahshua the Messiah, uh -huh. that you withdraw yourselves. That you what? That you withdraw yourselves. Come on now, uh huh. From every brother that walketh disorderly. Yes, sir. And not after the tradition. Not after the tradition of which you received of us. Of which you have received of us. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Right. There's a lot of chaos in that dream. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Honest, some brothers and sisters do not walk out of the tradition which they have received from the bishopric. Amen. Yes, sir. That's right. Hey, man, yeah, it hurts. Mm -hmm. Yes. Amen. I've been there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Huh, when you got to cut ties. Mm -hmm. right. yes. I was close to David at one time. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Close to John Jr. at one time. Yes, yes. sir. That's right. Were backsliders. Yeah, most of the people in the dreams were uh, backsliders. Exactly. Mm -hmm. All that just represents a spirit that shouldn't be. Amen. Yes, Amen. A spirit that shouldn't be in the house of Yahweh. Yes. Right. Yes, Amen. Mm -hmm. yes. You have those as part of faith mm -hmm. that backslidden heart. Right. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. That's right. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. And we as bishop, we we see it. Yes, sir. Uh, we hear the bleeding of the sheep. These things that are reported calmly in here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're trying to get you to see it. Oh, yeah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Right. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Let's finish it. For yourselves know. For yourselves know. You ought to follow us. How you ought to follow us. For you we know. know. Amen. Yes, yes, you do. You know. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. You know how you ought to follow us. Yes, sir. Uh, you can say, I have not left myself without a witness. Right. Yes. Question, you have your eyes on this witness. Yes. I'm a witness for the Lord. I'm a witness. Yes, sir. That, that's why Apostle, he made the statement with the brothers that wanted to go drink in the mouth. Mm -hmm. He said, you don't see me doing that. Yeah, you don't right. see me doing that. Yes. Right. You got to do right. exactly. Look at what the righteous is doing. Right. Man, all the perfect man. This is going to be good for your spirit. Oh, yeah, yeah. To make the right decision, I promise you're going to help open up their eyes. Yes. Right. yes. Mm -hmm. exactly right. Either that or they, they ain't going to want to be around you no more. Yes. That's right. Yes, Lord. Hun, you don't want to be blind to it. No. Right. And say, if the blind lead the blind, they both shall wind up in the ditch. Uh huh. Right. Yes, y'all. Amen. Yes, yes sir. sir. For yourselves know how you ought to follow us. For yourselves us. know how you ought to follow us. For we behave not ourselves disorderly among you. For we behave you. not ourselves disorderly among you. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm star apostle watch. You know how he behaved himself. Yeah. Right. Amen, huh? He taught every brother in here how to con conduct himself. Yes, sir. Right. Huh? Not to behave himself disorderly Amen. among you. He taught every man in here that's a husband, hallelujah, to be a, a, a true husband to his wife. Right. Mm -hmm. To be an example to his children. Yes, sir. Yeah. To be the savior of his household. Uh -huh. That's the walk that we saw. Uh, yes. Man of true love. That's right. That's right. Man of great faith. Yes. Yes, Lord. You women, you saw how Mother Washington 
Yes. How she conduct herself. Yes, sir. Right. How her desires to her Lord. Yes. Right. Mm-hmm. We all know that this is hard for her, for my father to be away. Right. As much as he, as he has. Yeah. Yes. But she said that she'd rather die mm-hmm. um, before she speak anything contrary to what Yahweh wants of him. Right. right. Mm-hmm. That her desire is for her Lord. Yes. She manifested indeed. Yes. This is what's before us. Yes. So that leaves every single one of us without an excuse. That's right. You say you are inexcusable, old man, whosoever you are. Uh-huh. What shall make you different one from another? Another spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. If you get this thing in, I promise your spirit will bear witness to his spirit. Right. Yes. Not only that, but we will be like minded having things in common. Yes. That's right. Again, he was sitting forth in another example last night. You seen the fireplace going? Mm-hmm. They were cuddled up under the fire, watching the movie together. Yeah, an Amen. example. Being an example, yeah. showing what a husband and wife do. Right, right. Some of us husband and wife we sleep sleeping in separate rooms. Man. Mm-hmm. Right. Don't want to get with your husband, but want to get with somebody of the, of the faith that think just like you. Right. You want to spend all your time with that individual, but not with your husband. Right. Mm-hmm. It don't make sense. Yes, sir. No. Yahweh joined you together and said, let no man put us under. That's right. Huh? That man, brother and sister in this way here, they also include you. Right. Mm-hmm. To death do his part. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. Neither did we eat any man's bread for naught. Neither did we eat any man's bread for naught, but wrought with labor and travail night and day. See, Apostle Paul here is saying that we always set the right example. Right. Amen. And all that we did, all that he did, they set the right example. Apostle Washington, all that he done, he set the right example for us. Yes, sir. So we can have an example to follow. Amen. Yes, sir. Read it. But wrought with labor and travail night and day Uh that we might not be chargeable to any of you. Yes, sir. Not because we have not power, Mm -hmm. but to make ourselves an example unto you to follow us. Yes, sir. For even when we were with you, this we commanded you, Mm -hmm. that if any would not work, neither should he eat. Yes, sir. For we hear that there are some which walk among you disorderly. And see, that's the thing there. Yes. That's why Apostle Washington said that when he get back, he got to deal with some things. Amen. He shared with us uh, Sunday, and he's out there in Lubbock sharing some things. Yes, sir. Um, but the things that he's heard. Right. Uh, and the Spirit is tr- is trying to put an end to all of that. Yes, That's sir. Right. Mm-hmm. They want us to 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 to, to think more soberly. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Mm-hmm. Because every single one of us have an impact on each other. Yes, sir. Yes. When you do the right thing, don't you know I have an impact? Yes. Right. On your neighbor. Yeah. Hmm. Amen. Yes, Lord. Have an impact on your neighbor. Yeah. Oh, yes. I see the young brothers, DJ, Zeke, and Lil Paul, yes. even Michael, all of them, they have an impact on the younger brothers. Right, right, right. Yes. Maybe that's why it's very important that you do the right thing. Yes. Hallelujah. Not getting caught up in, in, in the pride and all of that and yes, the sir. different types of shoes and all of that type of stuff. Because yes, they have an influence on them. Yes, I know sir. because I did it. Right. Yes, sir. Talk with the young brother out there. Because one brother got a tattoo, yeah. then a couple of them said, well, I, 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 I've been wanting to get one, too. Mm-hmm. And because of the weakness of one, right. yes. it caused the other ones to want to get weak also. Yes, sir. And I told them, don't do it. Mm-hmm. You know, I would have somebody think just like you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hmm? Right. Mm-hmm. Amen. 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 Said me and John Dren, we thought exactly the same. Mm-hmm. Right. True. We got in trouble together. Yeah. <laughs> we did the right thing together. Yeah. But you never know who's watching. Right, right. Oh, yeah. You never know who's watching. Yeah. That's right. For we hear that there are some which walk among you disorderly, disorderly. working not at all, mm-hmm. but are busy bodies. So they're not doing the very things that they're instructed to do. That's right. And so that's why I say that, you know, every single one of us, we're not justified to remain the way that we are. Amen. Right. Every brother and sister come into the house of Yahweh with fruit to give. Amen. Amen. Mm-hmm. And some to spare. Yes, sir. Yes. Mm-hmm. I should be able to turn around and pluck off what I what I'm looking for. Yes, sir. 
Amen. You should be a delight to me. Yes. You should be a blessing to me. Yes, Lord. Right. I shouldn't have to look to the left and see a dead tree. Right, right. That's right. Yes, Yahweh. Barely clinging on to life. Yes. Right. Yes, Yahweh. But this is the truth of the matter. That's why Apostle Paul says, Spirit speaks expressly that in latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits, uh, doctrines of devils, speaking lies and hypocrisies, and having their conscience seared with a hot iron. Yes, sir. That's right. Is it something that you're giving ear to more than the word? Right. Amen. And that's why you have to note them that walk disorderly. Uh -huh. Now, I can't be around you ain't talking right. Amen. Amen. Uh, no, nah, sister, you ain't talking right. I tell you what, we'll fellowship once you uh, start loving your husband the right way. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah. yeah. Huh? Yeah. No different than what the Spirit said about the bishops. Right, right. Mm -hmm. no different. Until I hear the testimony of your wives, amen, you cannot stand before the people. Woo. Right. They called me to examine myself. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes. Amen. 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 That's right. That's right. Truth hurt. Yeah. Yes. Really do. Uh, but it also set you free. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It will set you free. Yeah. That's right. That's it for the soul. Yeah. yeah, that truth hurt, but it'll set you free. Yes, it will. Yes, Amen. 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 That's, right. That's why men and disciples, they went away grieved. Uh huh. On the things that uh, Yahshua the Messiah shared with them, huh? It hurt. <laughs> For we hear that there are some which walk among you disorderly. Working not at all, uh -huh. but are busy bodies. Yes, sir. Now them that are such we command and exhort by our Lord Yahshua the Messiah, mm -hmm. that with quietness they work uh -huh. and eat their own bread. Read it, read it. But you, brethren, uh -huh. be not weary in well-doing. Be not weary in well-doing. If you're doing this thing, don't be weary. Right. Uh, don't allow what you see to cause you to be cast down. Yes, sir. Uh, because even though you're doing the right thing, yes, Satan is still fighting against us. Uh-huh. Keep lifting up a standard. Keep being strong, brother. Keep being strong, sister. Yes, sir. Amen. Uh-huh. And if any man obey not our word by this epistle. Read it, read it. Note that man. He said, note that man. And have no company with yeah, him. Yeah, look at him. Hallelujah. Note him. Yes. Huh? You got your, your check, your, your, your book out and your pen. Hallelujah. Huh? Note that, brother. Yes, sir. Note him. Right. Hmm? Yes, sir. Note that man. Yes, sir. And have no company with him. And have no company with that him. That he may be ashamed. Ah, uh, see, this is what's going to happen. You put him to a shame. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. See, salvation is, is serious. Yes, sir. Yes. It'll make you feel isolated just for you to do the right thing. Yeah, we are. Now, you're not going to mistreat him. Right, no. no. We'll get to that part. And then say mistreat him. Yeah. Right. No. Yes, sir. Mm hmm. But we want them to examine themselves. Mm -hmm. yes. To slow down and think. Amen. Huh? Because if you continue to act as if everything is all right, they'll never come to acknowledge right. their weakness. Amen. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. Right. That's why it was so easy for me and John Jr. to do what we was doing. Mm -hmm. we, I knew what he was doing is wrong. He knew what I was doing was wrong. Right. But no one was strong enough to lift up a standard to put the other to, a sh to shame. Uh huh. And that's why y'all young people, when y'all come together, it yeah. just can't be just a good time. No. Right. Right. Amen. The other day I, I spoke, I said, I'll shut a fellowship down on you. Right. Hmm? Yes, sir. Amen. If you ain't doing the right thing, so the show without a head cup, and I'm going to say something. Amen. 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 Hmm? Yes, yes Lord. Lord. Brother, you want to act cool, I'm going to say something. Amen. It'll be a blast for everybody else. Amen. Mm -hmm. It'll be a nightmare for you. Yes, sir, read it. Yes. Yet count him not as an enemy. He said, but count him not as an enemy. But admonish him as a but brother. But admonish him as a brother. We still going to love them. Right. Uh, do the right thing. Be an example. But but uh, 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 but you still have to lift up a standard. Yes. So we got to stop being so comfortable with one another in here. Yes, where Lord. you refuse to do the right thing. Yes, sir. Yes. That's right. That's right, Lord. 
you know what, brother? You know what, sister? You know, I was thinking that I'm going to be more like Mother Washington. You see how she loved her husband? That's going to be me. Right. You just might shock him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Amen. Let's finish my time. I got to wait. Now, the Lord of peace himself, uh -huh. be peace always by all means. Yes, sir. The Lord be with you all. Uh huh. The salutation of Paul with mine own hand, mm -hmm. which is a token in every epistle. So I write. Read it. The grace of our Lord, Yahshua the Messiah, be with you all. Amen. See, saints, see, the spirit is for us. Amen. Amen. The spirit is for us because they want to see us all saved. Amen. But saints, we have to implement this teaching. Yes. Amen. The Spirit is fed up as far as it's doing things just, just, uh, uh, just uh, uh, um, disorderly. disorderly. Yes, right. Not taking no thought for whatsoever things that we're doing. Right. It's tired of that, that, that mindset and behavior in the church. Amen. 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 We got to stand up and be there for one another. Be, being an example. Hallelujah. Calling a brother hand. Amen. You know, we don't act like that. You know, we don't talk like that. You know, we don't dress like that. Amen. Sister, wear your head covering. Amen. Be our brother's keeper. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. That's all the Spirit has given me to share with you all this night. I pray that y'all received it and apply it to your lives. At this time here, let us all receive Deacon Holloway by saying praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Amen. Amen.